Okay, today we're going to talk about how to check for the reading order in a PowerPoint. One of the tips in the accessibility checker, which I have over here, is to check the reading order. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to close this out so you don't have to look at it. We're going to check the reading order. So on the home tab, we're going to go to the drawing section, which is right here, drawing. You're going to look for the word arrange. And we're going to click on the little triangle under the word, the drop down menu. And we're going to look all the way down at the bottom of the menu and choose selection pane. What that's doing is it opens a document on the right hand side of the PowerPoint. And you see it says selection at the top and the, all the different items that were on this PowerPoint slide right here are listed in this column. So what we want to do is make sure that it's in the correct order that you would want to read it. So the first thing we want to read is airplanes, which is the title right here. So if I click on title, it wants me to change the name. I'm not changing the name. You click on the word title, you see what it highlights. So remember in PowerPoint, the order goes from the bottom to the top. It doesn't go from the top to the bottom. It goes from the bottom to the top. So the title is first and it should be on the very bottom. The next thing we want to read is, see, right the airplane and then the content about that clip art. So this one's pretty simple. Um, if we wanted to change the order, all we can do is we can click on it, hold it down and drag it and it will change the order. Or you can use the little up and down arrows where you're going to send it up or down in the same, in that order. This one is pretty simple. It only has three. This one has a lot because each one of these little sections has a different item over here on the right hand side and you can see their name like title 281 content placeholder 122 what you can do is change the names of them by just clicking on them highlight it and i'm just going to put green example i'm just making up a name but if it's something that you're doing like this one could be three top three challenges so i would just slowly click on it and it opens up highlight it and then type top three challenges or you know what the different items are when they're so busy like this. To check the reading order, we're going to start at the bottom. This, we, the title is up here, which is not actually on the slide. And it's at the very top. So if we actually wanted it to show on the slide, we could move it, move this down. Now we would actually have to move this section right here all the way to the very beginning. So I'm going to hit the down, make it go backwards, all the way down to the very bottom. So now it's at the very bottom. So that's the first thing that you would read is survey. And it would go to the envelope and how many surveys were sent out, a little check mark, and you would just go through these and put them in the reading order that you want someone or the machine to read it. These are actually already all in order, but that gives you an idea of what 
could be on this side in the selection column. And that's all it is to it. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, you know, just let me know.